Hey beautiful people, let's do some Japanese cooking today. It's a very special day for me today, 20 years ago on August 13th, 1998, I arrived for the first time in Japan. I was supposed to stay one week and obviously 20 years later, I'm still here. So thank you, Japan. I love you very much and uh, I hope I can stay for another 20. Okay, let's get right into cooking. I'm trying to make a tempura, raw vegan tempura. I never done it and I only had a small test run as you can see in my previous video, doing my uh, noodles. So, and we're gonna use exactly the same uh, mixture to make the tempura. I prepared a half cup of water and I put into it organic golden flax meal. And uh, this is already standing and expanding here for about five minutes. And then I used, um, the Russian version of uh, buckwheat grains and I put them into my blender and uh, grinded them super super tiny so I'm not sure how much we're gonna need but we're gonna start off using maybe a third cup one third cup and see how the mixture is gonna turn out because when I made my noodles it was a little bit too much and I had to add quite a lot of water so let's begin you can always add some more. So you see here, this is um, still a little bit liquidy. So let's add just maybe, maybe one tablespoon more. And then also some sea salt. And let's see, that comes more into a nice thick consistency okay so let's try it out i'm not sure what it's going to be um what shall we take first let's start off and i did use some sesame oil to marinate all the vegetables because otherwise they might turn out a bit too dry so you just use sesame oil or if you like coconut oil or um, grapeseed oil olive oil but i prefer sesame so we start oops we start off uh, and it's a little bit thick with one of those ones and yeah the mixture is quite sticky and i guess we should probably add a little bit more um, water to it yeah we're gonna add some more water some more water. It was about a quarter cup of water that I added to it. Okay. And you see my tiny Japanese kitchen. I have almost no space, so I have to turn around a little bit. And let's see. Let's place one of those here and then let's take a bell pepper from here. Put this on the dehydrator mesh and let's go with the shiitake. Let's just take the spoon. So we actually tried this recipe, we spiralized one of uh, a medium size zucchini and we just put it as it is on a dehydrator mesh and it actually turned out super 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 yummy. Okay, yeah, I think that's the right mixture. So we used, okay, I repeat one more time. We used um, half a cup water, a third cup plus one tablespoon ground buckwheat, and about three quarter cup water, and that makes the right consistency, I think. Okay. 
bit more here. And let's take one tablespoon of the mushrooms. And I think it's going to take about three hours. Let's see what turns out with this ones. Okay, the mushrooms and then my beautiful invisible hand. Dozo. Thank you. And so we're gonna throw all those ones in here. Sometimes it's just an experimenting in the raw vegan kitchen. And it's such amazing that once you get really into it, you know, it, you can, I couldn't sleep last night. Actually, I started thinking about all the things I could do for Obon. So we also have the Obon holiday right now. Tokyo is very quiet, everybody went back to their hometowns and so I couldn't sleep because I was thinking oh, which beautiful Japanese dishes I could veganize and put on my YouTube channel and this one is definitely worth it. So the uh, raw vegan zucchini pasta, none of us likes the raw version of zucchinis so we tried this out and that turned out amazing honestly amazing so what it looked like when it came out of the dehydrator it actually looks like little meat pieces which for me my my eyes didn't like it but the t uh, taste of it delicious so let's put those ones inside and for all the rest i have to make actually a new marinade so i think if you have an amount of uh, vegetables like this, you probably need four times of the recipe. And I'm going to add this recipe underneath so you can uh, step by step go through the ingredients. And then you want to dehydrate by 40 degrees. And just, you know, go to your um, preferences if you like it super soft you just leave it a little longer or if you okay after a couple of hours you can take it out and serve it with just some salt or soy sauce and um, yeah that would be it the recipe for the udon is already uploaded so you can have a look there or i touch this also below thank you for watching please subscribe to my channel and uh, the next recipe following is going to be one of my favorite sweets. Thank you.